Oh, it turns out I was talking to myself the whole time because my mic was muted. Yeah, I'm a dum-dum. Yeah, okay, so, as I was saying, uh, this is, uh, Pokemon Clover. It's, a uh, it's a ROM hack of Pokemon Fire Red, and it's made by the guys at 4chan, so it's, uh, it's full of edgy internet humor, but it's also actually a really good game. There's 380 new Pokemon, and they're all, like, uh, they're really well drawn, and some of them are hilarious, some of them are just pretty cool. And, uh, there's just tons of cool stuff in this game. I can't remember where I was going in this tunnel, though. And either way, Nauseon is not a good Pokémon to be using against these wild encounters. But yeah, sorry about my microphone being off, I was just talking to myself for a while. Uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's put, uh, oh, Enelgay's dead. Enelgay is my starter Pokémon! So let's see, which way? Can I go in here? Normally I would be playing this game really slowly and trying to like catch as much as I can. But since I'm streaming this, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take my time too much. I'm gonna try to just get on with the game and try to show off as much of it as I can. And then probably later on I'll revisit everything and, and try to capture more monsters in my own time. Because I don't think you guys want to watch me running around in tall grass trying to catch everything, because it's probably kind of boring. But yeah, I always turn off my mic when I'm not using it, you know, just in case. But uh, sometimes I forgot to forget to turn it back on. But I think the the opposite would be worse. Like if I had my mic on and I didn't realize that might <laughs> that could be worse. Uh, what I'm getting? Thunder wave. Oh, thunder wave's kind of useful. The user attacks the foe. Mm hmm. Hmm. I don't know what to get rid of here. Maybe struggle bug. Anyway, I'm probably not going to be using Probosquito for too long this time, because uh, I got another electric Pokémon that I might use instead. Prepare to get rocked. Yeah, you could do an EBF Pokémon ROM hack, since I've got all those sprites that I drew for the, the Pokémon cards. But, uh, I'm not going to make it. Someone else should make it. You know, like, use my graphics and my designs if you want, but, you know, make the rest of your- make the rest of the mod yourself, because, you know, I don't want to make a mod. Not for a game like this. I mean, I, I feel like I've been making games too long now, I, I can't do it for fun anymore. Like, I, if I can't sell it, then I can't- I can't be bothered putting a lot of effort into it. But who knows, maybe- maybe that'll change. Maybe I will do more game dev for fun. That's kind of what I'm doing with the with the weapons I've been drawing recently. I can't put those into my games because they're all copyrighted. But uh, you know, maybe someone else can mod them into my games. Oh, this guy's uh, he's gonna kill uh, Clover over here. So uh. I put the game music a bit louder this time because I, I feel like last time it was way too quiet, which is a shame because the music is really good and all you could hear is like like me bumping against the table and my squeaky chair and stuff like that. So hopefully if the game music's a bit louder you can't hear all of those sound effects that you're not supposed to hear. Alright, who's gonna be- uh, none of these are really gonna be good against fire rock, are they? Oh, yeah, none of this. These one, uh, I'll try. Uh, I'll try using this guy because at least he's not weak against fire, right? Oh, you wouldn't mind watching me play through this slowly? Huh? Well, I don't know if I'll be able to keep talking for that long. Like, at least if I rush through it, I can like keep talking, but if, if I had to like play this for 40 or 50 hours and like try to talk all the way through, I don't know if I'd manage that. And a lot of viewers would probably drop off early.
try game jams. Nah, I'm, I'm not into game jams. I mean, I've attended them, like, as a judge, but I wouldn't want to, like, rush a game. That seems, uh, seems stressful and counterproductive. Like, why, why would you want to rush your hobby and just not sleep for 24 hours or however long you're doing it for? Acid sucks. I have, uh, I don't have anything to kill this guy with. Oh, maybe? No. No. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe if I use Screech? The acid special. Oh well, maybe I'll find some physical move somewhere. Last time I was relying quite a lot on a few people in the chat who knew this game quite well. Because uh, I've played it before, but I don't remember very much. It was a long time ago. And it's been a long time since I've played any Pokemon games at all. <laughs> so I don't even remember what all the attacks are, and there's also a lot of new attacks that I've never heard of before. Ugh, what am I supposed to do? Do I have any physical moves at all? Leech life. I guess I can try that. <laughs> but uh, it's probably not going to be very... No, he's rock type, so it's going to be awful against it. Speed weed. Uh... Oh boy, it's going to have to be Razor Leaf. Okay, critical hit. Yeah, that's what I needed. There we go. Uh, don't trust everyone. A lot of Pokemon have been changed. Yeah, that's, that's fair enough. Click here, grid at level 16. I might need to do more wonder trades to see what other weird stuff I get. Nazi doesn't play by my grassy rules. Well, I'd be an oven Pokemon with a, <laughs> with a grass Pokemon, so good for me. They got Hiker. I rock. Yeah, I'm sure I'm- oh, it's her. Oh boy, I'm not ready for this. I always run way too fast into these uh, special encounters. See, if I was walking, I probably would have seen it coming, but if my character is running, then I, I just right, run straight into these things. Anyway, she's annoying. I don't like her. Oh, I think she's supposed to be annoying. I asked people who he was, and they told me he was a cuck and a faggot. Wow. That's, uh, that's the owner of 4chan they're talking about, for anyone who's not familiar. They're, uh, <laughs> they're really not happy with him after he sold the website, so they, they just make fun of him non-stop now. Which is fair enough. It's like being betrayed by your dad or something. Oh, his music sounds funny. <laughs> okay, that put him to sleep. That's good.
So, Clover's not doing too much damage to this guy. But I guess, uh, she's a special tr oh, whoa! Headbutt killed me. She's a special trainer, so her Pokemon are probably trained properly and are quite strong. What am I supposed to do here? I've got two Pokemon left. Maybe I should have used some potions. Alright, finish him off. Alright, gotta beat two more Pokemon. Well, this one should be easy. Except my moves are pretty weak. Oh, that was awful. It wasn't even super effective, but I thought I thought he was water. Does he have a second type that I don't know about? Bug's not very. Hmm. Hmm. Is he part poison? Oh, is he poison water? <laughs> Why did Mei Mei look like a dead cat? Because it's uh, it's making fun of silly memes. I think it's also making fun of those uh, really badly drawn Reddit memes. Alright, last Pokemon. <laughs> Wish me luck. Her Pokemon are really strong. I'm doing so little damage to them. Oh, I don't I don't think I have any chance of winning anymore. That's okay. There's a plenty of stuff I missed in the tunnel, so it's another chance to go back and get it. Anyway, how y'all doing? Did you have a good weekend? all just watching YouTube videos. Oops, I accidentally talked to her. Alright, let's get out of here. Yep, I lost. Should I try doing a wonder trade? Who should I get rid of? If I go do a wonder trade, like, who am I gonna sacrifice? I don't know if I really want to sacrifice any of these guys yet. So let's check my PC. I'm sure I caught some garbage that I need to get rid of. You've been inside for over two weeks and you're slowly going crazy. Only two weeks? I think we've been inside for five weeks now. Oops. I forgot which PC it is where you store your Pokemon. It's someone's PC. Wow. So, I think I can get rid of Landchill and Armando, because, uh, <laughs> I don't really care much for them. Alright, there you go. Let's, uh, let's sacrifice this guy now. Wait, I have to wait 25 more minutes before I can trade again? Really? Does it not count my time since yesterday? I, I, I guess fair enough then, whatever. I guess I have to keep playing for the timer to go down. Catch a garbage Pokemon. Yeah, I'll try to catch some more. Oh, I missed this item right here. 
you were watching YouTube and you noticed I was streaming. That makes sense. Oh, you should play the new update. It's really good. <laughs> There's a lot of fun stuff in it. Armando used Tickle. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it looks like there's no in-game clock. Oh, rare candy. Uh, I guess I'll save that for, like, the end of the game or something. Or when I'm really in trouble. Uh, so many random battles. I forgot what it's like to go through a cave in Pokemon. I can capture one of these guys if they survive one of my attacks. Because, uh, I don't have one of him yet. Nope. He's, uh, he's not gonna survive Razor Leaf. Yeah, I should catch, uh, excess Pokemon for Wonder Trade. Yeah, that's something I can do. Landchill? No, you're not even supposed to be in my party. So I don't care what moves you learn. Started to 100% EV of 5, then realized you weren't playing on the hardest difficulty. Well, you don't need to. The game's not really meant to be played all the way through on the hardest, because it's just really time consuming. So maybe you just want to save that for the bosses? I don't know. Stop with the Armandos. What else is fighting weak against besides Psychic? I should just get a Pokemon that's good at dealing with all of these Armandos. No, you don't have to play all the way through for all the achievements. You only have to fight the bosses on the hardest. Where do you get this game? Uh, you go download our uh, ROM for Fire Red, and then you go for the web go to the website for this game, and you can patch it there. It's kind of straightforward if you know how to use emulators. Uh, can I put a link to the Pokemon Clover website in the description? Yeah, I, I guess I can do that. I'll do that after the stream. I'll, I'll update the description. I mean, I, I just assume that most people could figure it out, but I guess you're right. It, it does help to put a link in there. Oh, it was a trap. Wild Chompist appeared. Oh, I want to capture this guy, actually. He's pretty cool. Will he survive Speedweed? Yeah, he easily survived that. Maybe he survived it a bit too well, actually. I know Adventure Quest Worlds. I know of it, so I've never played it. Alright, let's see. Let's, uh, let's throw out some public balls. Junk Ball might be too weak for this guy. 
Let's see. Yeah, that didn't do anything. Oh no, come on. Do any status effects help catching, like besides freeze and paralyze or sleep? Does like burning and poisoning a Pokemon make it easier to capture? And he's rock, does that mean he's immune to Thunder Wave? I have no idea. I don't even remember what the Pokemon like capture formula is like. Let's see. I'm gonna try Thunder Wave anyway. Let's see if it works. Oops. Alright, it worked. That's good. I should have used the. Oh, rock throw. Ouch. Only ground is immune to electric. Yeah, fair enough. Cry a linker to level 17. Chompest has a hunger for valuables and shiny objects, but his preferred meal is treasure hunters. Makes sense. Uh, I'm not gonna give him a nickname. Oh, he's he's off to the PC. Well, I might take him out later and use him. Cause he's quite a fun Pokemon. Get out of here, Land Chill. No one likes you. All status effects help with capturing. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, okay. So that's where we are. Um, who's Moot? Mount Moot Memorial. May he rest in peace. I knew the day would come, the day when Moot would leave us behind. What does the future hold in store for us? Well, what can I say? <laughs> Once a faggot, always a faggot. Well, I can see that uh, Moot is well, uh, well remembered. Press F to pay respects. No. 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 I have to say yes? <laughs> touch the statue sensually. Okay, I, I had no choice. I, I had to touch the statue. Sniff, without Moot, this place is doomed. <laughs> What's even the point in being here anymore? Wow, that's, uh... That's deep, man. Alright, let's continue. There's I don't think there's anything to actually do here. Yeah, the, the the treasure chest Pokemon that I captured, he does the, the Zelda treasure sound. Hold on. Where is he? Oh no, he's in the PC. So I, I can't show it to you right now. But uh, when I get to the PC, I'll try to remember to bring him out. Alright, it's Wedgeard. It's this guy I want to capture. Because I don't have one. But he has to survive a grass attack. And it doesn't look like it's going to happen. I've been demonized or demonetized. Oh, Pokedex. Yeah, yeah, I can take a look at the Pokedex. That's that's a good point. Doop, 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 doop. How big is this Pokedex? There we are. Yeah, there you go. There's your Zelda sound. Oh, 
I really love the Pokemon Cries in this game. They're so much better than the actual Pokemon Cries in their normal games, because uh, they just sound like random gibberish. They don't even sound like the, the stuff the Pokemon's supposed to say. Because in the show, like, all the Pokemon just say their own names, but in the games they don't do that. They just make random screams that don't make any sense. But the, the Cries are actually quite good in this, they're quite funny most of the time. How I captured anything new? Uh, I captured the treasure chest Pokemon. Wasted a few Pokeballs on that one. I think that's the only one I captured so far. Oh. My Armando are so big, dude. Radical, dude. Hiker Robbie wants to battle. Arm thrust. They didn't have the space in the original cards to do voices. Well, that might have been true, like, when Pokemon was on Game Boy, but I don't think that's been true for a long time now. Like, I'm sure the GBA could have handled it, and then everything after that. Like, there's no excuse for, like, modern Pokemon games not doing it properly. Ouch. Rest in peace, Clover. Or Clovower. Let's see. Cryolink can handle anything, right? Although his Dragon Rage is probably not gonna one-shot everything like it used to. How can this guy roll? You can't roll two balls attached to a rock. Oh, Landchill's learning magnitude. Landchill, I'm gonna probably wonder trade you, so you don't even need to learn any moves. Get out of here. This guy's really excited about the size of his Armandos. <laughs> of course, my Armando are nothing compared to the size of my Bollicle. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. I found the Moonstone. I'm not actually sure which Pokemon evolved with which stones. Oh, it's Semdrop. What's the most based and red pilled fake pawn? Probably that Pizza Girl one. We're gonna have to capture her soon. Uh, I'm gonna use Thunder Wave more when capturing stuff, just so I don't waste all of my Pokeballs. Some people said last time that Sem drops really good when he evolves. So, uh, we'll see about that. Last Pokeball. But well, then I've got a uh, Great Ball to waste on something. The Great Ball's not really that good, is it? It's only a little bit better than a Pokeball. 
Alright, at least I caught this one first try. Sem drops are slimy and translucid. If you try to smell it, it will shoot drops of its body at you. Yeah, because I'm sure that's what you want to do. Ooh, more treasure. I basically missed all of the treasure in the cave last time. So it looks like uh, being defeated was uh, a pr pretty good opportunity to go back and get everything. Hooray, potion! They can't even give me a super potion? Pressing buttons or rocking the D-pad doesn't help when a Pokemon is being captured, so stop doing it. But it's so hard, because I want to do something. Oh, am I just supposed to sit there and, and watch the Pokemon wiggle for a while? Hey, look, it's Bollicle. So, uh, I would like to capture this guy. If he's Rock-type, he's gonna be uh, resistant to bites, right? Oh, that did a lot of damage. But he's alive, so I should be able to capture him. Can I use Sem Drops for Pokemon breeding? Yeah, probably. Let's see... Oops, uh, I didn't want to use Thundershock. No! Well, that was pretty dumb. Oh well, I need to pay more attention. Steel is resistant to dark. Yeah, I wasn't actually sure what type he was. But here we have Mudpans who looks even, like, he's probably the dumbest looking Pokemon we've seen so far. So, if I could capture him, that'd be great. Oh, okay. Uh, Bite's not very effective against him. So, uh, that's perfect for weakening him, I guess. Ah! Stop doing damage. Nah, I'm gonna chuck a Pokeball right away. <laughs> Alright, capture the mud pants. What's Acid Spray? The user spits fluid that melts the foe. Harshly lowers special defense. That's actually, uh, pretty good. More useful than Screech. Yeah, that's basically like Screech, but it also does some damage. Mud, <laughs> mud pants constantly soil themselves to scare off enemies. Their waist is so light that wind can carry it away. Wow. Alright, anything up here? Oh, it's Yotsuba. Hello. This cave is so huge and rough. I like it's Dunky P.
You've wasted half an hour of your time. Yeah, if you're just sitting there watching this, then it probably is a waste of time. You should probably be doing something else while, like, watching this in the background. Or you could actually just be playing this game yourself. You know, it's a, it's a free ROM hack. So uh, you can just download it and play it on your PC or on your phone. I can't stand that weirdo guy trying to spy on me. Was that the guy we saw earlier in the previous episode? Oh, we're back here. This is where we started. So, which means I know which uh, which way I should be going from here. I feel like random uh, random battles have not aged well, and I feel like Pokemon could uh, have been dealing with them better. Like, uh, Pokemon should probably make random battles a lot rarer in caves, and it should make uh, running away from battles like 100% successful. Because, you know, harassing the player with just random battles, that's not good game design. and it's, uh, That's why most RPGs don't do it anymore, or they find kind of better ways of doing it. You know, I mean, putting random battles just in the grass is fine, but in a cave, you don't have any option to avoid it, which is kind of stupid. Anyway, that's just my complaint. I feel like Pokemon's just not really been updated very well over the years. They're just trying to keep it exactly the same as the original games, which in my opinion is not a good idea. It should, uh, it should be more, more modern to play these days. Do away with all the random battles and kind of make it less grindy. Random encounters don't exist in Sword and Shield. That's good news. I haven't played those yet, so uh, I've still got that to look forward to. I actually bought uh, Pokemon Sword a few days ago, and I'm, I'm, I still haven't played it because I'm playing this instead. But uh, if you're saying they got rid of random encounters, that, that sounds good. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'm looking forward to playing that later as well. I would love to play uh, the Nintendo Switch out in the garden when it's sunny, but I recently found out that you can't play it outside because the screen's too reflective and I can't even see the game. Like, you know, you, you would think Nintendo would be able to make better handheld screens by now, but apparently their technology is 10 years behind and they don't know how to make a good screen. So, that kind of sucks. I guess I'll have to play Pokemon Sword in bed, since uh, I don't know what else the Switch is good for. You can't play it outside, and it looks awful on a big TV as well. Uh, what was I about to do? I'm gonna heal up my Pokemon and get ready for this fight, so that I don't get destroyed once again. Nintendo also don't know how to make joysticks that last. Well, that's okay in my case because I'm not using the Joy-Cons. I've, uh, I've already replaced them with third-party Joy-Cons. And the Pro Controller as well. And I'm also using the Wii U controller because uh, I got a little adapter for it, so now I can use like any controller I want on the Switch. I can even use an Xbox controller, which is it's kind of funny playing Mario Kart with an Xbox controller, but it works. So uh, yeah, if you feel like Nintendo makes crappy controllers, then you know, just get a third-party adapter and use whatever controller you want. 
Alright, we're not gonna have a repeat of the last battle. I'm gonna destroy this guy this time. Mei Mei doesn't stand a chance. Yeah, those Joy-Cons, they're also really expensive, which is weird because they're very uncomfortable. They're, you know, why are they so expensive? They're more expensive than a normal controller and actually painful to use. So I guess if you're Nintendo, you can get away with pretty much anything, because uh, that's the only way you can play Nintendo games. People can't go anywhere else. They've literally got, like, no competition. Which is a shame, because I kind of wish Nintendo would stop making consoles and just release their games on every platform. Because, you know, I'd love to play, like, Mario and Pokemon and Zelda on a more powerful system, like on PC or PlayStation 4. You know, anything where I can actually get the games looking up-to-date and, uh, with modern graphics or whatever. Because, uh, you know, playing the Switch, it's a bit disappointing. It basically looks like I'm just playing the Wii U all over again. The graphics don't really look much better at all. And I, I know people will tell me, like, graphics aren't everything, but, you know, it'd be nice if they looked better than the previous system, and right now they don't. <laughs> It'd be nice if they were at least in, like, HD, and a lot of the games aren't even in HD. Which, you know, what, what year is this? Ah, uh, what am I doing? I should be using Dragon Rage. Dragon Rage for everything always works best. I appreciate you appreciate Nintendo's continued attempts at innovating in the console arena. That's the thing, I don't think the Switch is very, like, innovative. It's just like a Wii U that you can take anywhere. Which, I mean, I, I guess that's good if, if you're happy with that. But you can't even play it outside because the screen's so bad. So it's not even a particularly good handheld. You know, so... Uh, I, like, I kind of miss how, like... I, I felt like the Wii, for example, was, like, more interesting, because at least they tried, like, completely new controls. And uh, the Wii U screen was... I kind of liked the, what they did with the Wii U, because the screen was useful for a lot of games. Like, Mario Maker was really good to use on the touch screen. And the, the 3DS and the DS, the touchscreen was a lot of fun there, and the, the Switch still has a touchscreen, but they don't even have a stylus anymore, and none of the games really use the touchscreen, which is kind of disappointing, because I liked what Nintendo games used to do with touchscreens in the past. Oh well, that's just me complaining. People can pretty much buy whatever hardware they want, and they've, they've got a lot of choices these days. I would like to be playing, like, the Valve Index right now, but they're out of stock, and I've been waiting a long time to get on the on the list for, for getting one. Yeah, the Nintendo Switch is pushing a strong 720p when it's docked. Yeah, that's a that's a shame. I was actually like, I, I didn't expect much from the graphics. Like when I booted up Mario Odyssey, it was the first Switch game that I played. I didn't expect much, and I was still really disappointed. And it wasn't just me; Rania was also disappointed. Like we just looked at the game and, and we're like, "This looks awful." Like, like what year is this? This looks like a Wii U game. And the Wii U was already outdated when it was released, you know? You better head to the gym to get some sick gains, brah. Yeah, I guess. G gotta go get swole. I'm gonna go get first aid for my dying animals. Yeah. Gotta, gotta send those animals to the po uh, hospital. Mr. Mo oh, yeah, Mount Moon, yeah, okay. Meow. 
why is the thumbnail epic battle fantasy? Yeah, because I made that game. Uh, it's, it's pretty much my thumbnail for everything. I mean, uh, YouTube should create a new thumbnail for uh, for this video pretty soon. Or maybe, maybe just by the time it's finished it will put in a new thumbnail. But uh, yeah, I mean, what Nintendo should be doing is they should have a VR headset, because PlayStation has one, and that's the kind of thing that I think Nintendo would do pretty well. I think they'd probably come up with some, like, fun, low-tech uh, VR games. But instead it's, uh, instead it's PlayStation that has the VR system for some reason. And I mean, I guess it's it's somewhat popular, they've got some really good games for it, but I guess, I guess it's not selling as well as they would like, because other game... Other game uh, companies aren't doing the same thing. Which is a shame, because I really like VR stuff, and I wish there was more. The Labo VR. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, is that like Google Cardboard, where, where you put your phone in a cardboard box and tape it to your face? I mean, I, I guess, I guess that will show you like what VR is, but it's, it's not going to be fun to use for an extended period of time. Oh, there, oh, I can't use Dragon Rage anymore. That's a shame. VR still feels niche. Well, it is. I mean, there's not a lot of people playing it, but it's. I feel like it's already got like enough good games on it to justify buying a VR headset. Like, especially PS VR, it's already got like quite a good library. In my opinion, anyway, I thought it was a worthwhile purchase for me. A lot of my favorite games from last year were on PS VR. Like, uh, Astrobot Rescue Mission, Resident Evil 7, uh, Persistence, uh, Super Hoss was a bit clunky on PlayStation VR. Beat Saber was really good, but also a little bit clunky sometimes. But, you know, for, for a cheap VR system, PSVR still works pretty well. It's just the motion tracking kind of feels a bit limited at times. It feels like you can't put your arms as far out as you want to. I think Nintendo is still reeling from their utter failure of uh, of their first VR thing. Yeah, that's true. Uh, the Virtual Boy. Yeah, but that thing's really old. I mean, technology's come a long way since then. But yeah, people are saying like, yeah, the most important thing about VR is that it has to be like super smooth, it has to be like a really high frame rate, really high resolution, so it doesn't give you a headache, so it doesn't give you any nausea or anything. And then Nintendo in the 90s were like, yeah, let's make it black and red, you know? That, that won't give anyone headaches. I mean, I, I get, I'm happy that they tried it, but, uh, but I don't think it was going to work at that time. But yeah, I wish they still did more experiments like that, but you know, I guess, uh, I guess they're a company and they need to make money. And uh, a lot of their silly ideas didn't pan out. So, uh, people are saying really good things about uh, Half-Life Alex, but... I don't know if it's gonna convince enough people to get into VR. Especially if Valve can't even, like, supply the demand. But, though, though that's partly due to coronavirus as well. They can't get enough uh, enough units made. Giraffe rig cat? No, that was May May. That was a cat made of memes. That's some kind of mutant abomination. Here's for hoping us. For a Switch Plus. Yeah, I would love a, like, a more powerful version of the Switch, though uh, I'm not going to buy one now because I already own the normal version. You know? I'm not, not going to spend more of my money just because Nintendo didn't release a good one right away. 
Plus, the the Switch is a few years old now, isn't it? Well, when did it come out? Like, one or two years ago? If they were going to make a bigger version, they should have made it by now. So, uh, I don't expect them to do that. Which is a shame, because I would have loved, like, a more powerful version of the Switch, or, like, a better screen and everything. Many people mistake Armando for a penis. Oh, really? <laughs> who would who would have thought? Holy oh, shit! I'd, I'd own every bird if I could. I uh, I guess this like this guy likes birds. It's bird keeper agent. He's out Kenjin. Yeah, here's for hoping, uh, hoping for better Joy-Con designs. Well, you can get pretty good, uh, third-party Joy-Cons right now. That actually feel like a real controller. Oh, they're, they're afraid of less battery time. Yeah, I guess that's fair enough, yeah. Like, uh, yeah, it would use a lot of battery power if they made it too powerful. Oh, well. Or they could, you know, well, I don't know. I guess, uh, I guess I don't really need it to be portable at all. Like, I would just like to have a powerful Nintendo system to play in the living room. Which is uh, kind of what the GameCube used to be, but that didn't sell very well, so they're not going to do that again. Activate City is special and that is entirely built on top of piers. Why? Because it's cool. Exciting. Do you know how to keep an idiot in suspense? Yep. There we go. Do you even lift? No. You should take this then. Hell yeah, TM08. Which one's that? Oh, bulk up. Makes your Pokemon ripped and raises attack and defense. Making a Fochan Pokedex? What's the point nowadays? Can't you just go on Cerebi or something? Well, oh, people still like collecting things. I teach Boom Burst, the gold standard move for power. Boom Burst, huh? Oh, three thousand dollars. That's oh, half my money. I don't even know what Boom Burst does, but I guess I can find out. Oh, no one can learn it. I guess we'll never know. Baitmaster are tricky creatures. One time, researchers thought they had discovered a new Pokemon, but it turned out to be just a Baitmaster. <laughs> there are so many sexist freaks in this region. Like that creep in Gadditch City that flashed his penis on me. Yeah, we met that guy in the previous episode. You're a miracle. I have found a way to generate extra shekels from battles. For a simple down payment of 5,000 shekels, you could get started on this as well. Do you want in on the secret? Kinda, yeah. Is it payday? Is he gonna teach me payday? Well, I don't wanna spend half my money on payday right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save my money for later. Hey kid, do you wanna get yourself and your Pokemon ripped? Here, I have a special brace. Doubles mass gains. Oh, the Macho Brace. Is that for the EV training? I think that's what it is. <laughs> Switch is unable to load Minecraft worlds fast enough. <laughs> well, if you're on a big world, even a PC's gonna struggle. I wonder where the viewing distance is on the Switch. 
Because, like, if I put the viewing distance in Minecraft to maximum, even my computer struggles with it. But then again, I also, uh, also put in a lot of shaders to make the game look really pretty. But, uh, you know, the my Minecraft's not exactly the most optimized game. But wait, no, no, the, the console version, that's, uh, that's not running in Java anymore. They remade that for consoles. So, uh... Maybe the new Minecraft is more efficient after all, who knows. <laughs> Dumb enough to buy a used bike, I see. Hello, please give me a bicycle. <laughs> if you think you're gonna find a bargain at Big Bills, you can kiss my ass. That is, unless you can win at challenge pissing. <laughs> How does it work? If you can if you can piss six feet into the air straight up and not get wet, you get the bike for free. When you're ready, go stand over there by my employee on the raised tile. Alright, let's do it. Step onto the raised tile. Okay. Alright, on your marks. Wow. Nice try, asshole. Now get out of here with your weak pissing ability. Aw. I didn't piss well enough. Gonna buy some more Pokeballs. Gonna buy uh, super potion. They're so expensive, man. Oh well, I think I'll save my money for now. See ya. <laughs> so you can remember a bunch of Pokemon names, but somehow my pronouns and gender identities are too complicated. Wait, what'd she call me? <laughs> Stupid cisgender. Yep, that's me. Do you want to pawn something? Oh, what can I sell? Let me call in a buddy to take a look at it. He's coming all the way from Unova, so it'll be a while. What? Okay. Do, 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 do. Clover that reject the leaf stone for a long time will grow up to have sick gains. Ooh, exciting. What kind of weirdo owns a house in the middle of the water? Good point. I guess someone who doesn't want any visitors. Uh, should I go into the gym or should I go north from here? Oh, there's more houses. Hey, this is our spot, man. Don't make me drag your ass back into town. Hey, bro. Can't you see I'm busy training? I would tell you to join us, but you're just a kid. Yeah, I'm only 10 years old after all. Oh, the gym's down here. All right, let's uh, let's go in. Yeah, Clover confirmed to evolve via Leaf Stone. Well, I'll have to see uh, when I actually find a Leaf Stone. Thanks for the fresh water. Uh, I need to remember to use those next time I need a potion. The leader, Tumblrita, is a pro who uses water-type Pokémon. You can drain all their water with grass-type Pokémon. Yeah, well, I do have a few grass Pokémon, so I should be in a good position here. Oh, my Pokémon are dead. I, uh, I forgot to go to the Pokémon Center. Oops. Are you too late? Uh, no you're not. We're only one hour into the live stream. I might go on for another hour. We'll see. Maybe, maybe my voice will die before that and I'll have to stop. You're oppressing me, T Tumblrita, in this entire gym by setting foot in here. Time to put you in your place. Oh boy. Wow. Oh dear god. Oh 
Oh, the boss has Ice Beam. Well, I just need to make sure I attack first then, right? Cryolink, you're level 19! Good job, Cryolink. And I'll get you to level 19. Hey, everyone leveled up. <laughs> Fishnism. How old is this game? I was just finished like a few weeks ago. Uh, it's been uh, it's been in the works for like four or five years or something like that, and uh, there was earlier versions of it released a few years ago, but this is this is the final version which just came out like a, a couple of weeks ago. So it's a very new game, but it's uh, based on a very old ROM. Check your privilege. Yes, sir. Pokemon privilege is being able to defeat your opponents in battle. Yes. Tumblrita will kick all the rapists. Oh, I haven't raped anyone, so I think I'll be okay. Thin. All right, uh, is this half grass? Let's see. Still not very, not very strong. Almost killed him with raise relief. The humor feels like EBF. <laughs> Not really. Like EBF is pretty uh it's it's pretty safe humor compared to this. <laughs> Did you just rape my Pokemon? Like uh... <laughs> Yeah, e EBF is uh it's it's pretty safe. Don't don't want to offend too many people. Plus EBF is like PG-13. So it's it's you know, kids can play it if they want to. You probably don't want kids playing this. Rapists like you should be burning in hell. <laughs> what have I done? I haven't done anything. Alright, boss time. Let's see how it goes. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna heal anyone. Because I can just try again if I die. My name is Tumblrita and... Are you staring at my fishnism? <laughs> you are! You're staring at my precious Pokémon. Stop harassing my Pokémon. I'm sorry for, uh... For harassing and raping your Pokemon. Alright, can we take it out in one hit? Oh shit. I should have used the the speed weed. Okay, uh, I somehow survived. Lucky me. Oh shit. Not enough damage. Go, Speedweed. She's, uh... Oh, she killed me. She's probably gonna use a potion on her next turn, right? Because that's what gym leaders always do, just to be annoying. Guys, I got this. Anal Gay is probably gonna be too slow. Yeah, it's like EBF, but more offensive. Yeah, kind of, I guess. I would probably make a lot of the jokes in this game if if I weren't afraid of pissing people off. But, you know, I like money, so I want my game to appeal to as many people as possible. Oh, here we go. Oh, what? How? How did that do so little damage to Clover, but it killed Anglegay in one hit? Is Clover really so strong? Stupid fish. I got this, guys. I still have more Pokemon.
Good thing Probo Skeeto is really fast. What is the name of the boss battle theme? And Sandstorm! Everyone knows this song. Well, it's a remix, I guess. Why is Caroline here? You're not a water Pokemon. Wait, what? Thundershock doesn't affect it? Why? Are you a ground type? Ground flying, maybe? Well, the problem mosquitoes kind of dead. Feather dance. Huh, Cryo Link's attack fell. That's okay, because I'm using Dragon Rage. There we go. Oh boy, SJ Whale. Okay, let's, uh, can we get Dragon Rage in before Cryo Link gets obliterated? Oh shit. Here we go. Please live. Oh, that wasn't so bad. I got this. Cryolink, still my best Pokemon. Please no freeze. Can fire Pokemon even be frozen? I have no idea. Citrus Berry. Will I make an EBF tower defense game? Uh, I don't think so. Landshield, we're level 18! Well, I'm gonna trade him away soon. Oh, there's a fourth Pokemon? How many does she have? Well, four. But... <laughs> I thought it was only two at first. I should really pay more attention. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna keep spamming Dragon Rage, because it's the best move that I have. Ooh, that was easy. Just gotta hit it one more time. Oh, Aqua Jet. That's like, uh, like Quick Attack, but it's water, right? Every Pokemon's got a version of Quick Attack now. Okay, it's up to Nauseon. He can do it. Ouch. Okay, there we go. That wasn't too hard. So far, uh... So far I'm doing okay. I can't believe I was beaten by a patriarchal asshole. A misogynist. You'll never get the justice badge while I run this gym, you rapist. What do you want? Can't you see that I'm complaining about you on Tumblr? Come on, give me the badge. You want to apologize? Hell yeah. Oh, a TM. What's it do? Oh, she's ignoring me. Oh well. Uh, what's the TM do, though? Water pulse. Uh, let's see if anyone can use this. Nope. Not a single Pokemon. Yeah, 
Yeah, back in my day, there was only one quick attack. Now every Pokemon has quick attack. There's at least, what, there's a dark quick attack, a water and a grass quick attack. There's at least four versions that I can remember. Alright, let's do the Wonder Trade. Let's get rid of Land Chill and trade him for something better. Wish me luck, guys. Please choose a Pokemon to trade. Alright, finally getting rid of him. Get out of here, Land Chill. <laughs> He'll be sent to Pepe. I hope Pepe enjoys his new Pokemon. Ooh, what's that? It's this guy. I've seen him before. Not in this playthrough, but in my previous playthrough I've seen this guy. Tentaquil. Yeah, I think uh, I think they redid his graphic as well. I think he looks better now. So, the thing is, is he a good Pokemon? Do I want to be using him? Is he like uh, poison or something? Okay, he's got a decent amount of HP. Modest nature, mana trait, ice poison. Okay, that's an interesting combination. Poison's foe on contact. I guess I'll keep him in my party for now. See what he can do. Pin missile. Hits two to five times. I guess that's kind of good, I think. That's 25 power per hits, right? So it's potentially very powerful. High critical hit rate. Yeah, seems all right for this point in the game. Ice ball. Oh, we're roll. Oh, that's like rollouts, right? But ice. Okay, fair enough. I'll, I'll keep this Pokemon in my party for now. But yeah, you can play this uh, on PC or on your phone. Like, a anything that can run an emulator should be able to play this. But yeah, it's a GBA ROM hack. Okay, so I think we can go north now. A nice man offered us money for standing here and battling everybody. Exciting. Oh, he's just a kid. Well, that's fine, because I'm just a kid too. Drap pillar? Huh. Oh, I'm not going to use grass against this guy. I think Cryolink still doesn't have any fire moves. I want to learn Flamethrower. Like, what countries are actually watching right now? Because, uh, I know it's still probably quite early in America, but it's probably a good time for, like, Europeans to watch, right? Where, uh, where are you guys from, Breath? That was super! If you beat the next three trainers, you'll get a special reward. Cool. Okay, people in the chat are from Poland, Mexico, Finland, Brazil. Wow. It's pretty diverse. And one guy from Florida. Southeast Asia. From Hungary. Canada. Portugal. M Mongolia. 
Everyone's from a different country. Are you guys trolling me? Or are you really from, like, all over the world? I was expecting, like, uh, half my audience to be American here. Oh, it's a frog. He's probably, uh... He's just an electric type, right? Ouch. Hey, someone from the UK as well. Cool. Oh. Clover's not gonna do very well in this fight, then. Let's go back to, uh... Back to Cryolink, I think. Wait, Anal Gay can do this. He's got Rock Smash, or Rock Drop, or whatever it's called. Rock Tomb. What? It's not super effective? I have no idea what type he is. I thought he's electric, but maybe he's also something else. Oh, someone from Latvia. Oh, but he's in the UK now. But yeah, a lot, a lot of different uh, nationalities. Coolio. I think uh, YouTube's got a bit of a different uh, distribution than like uh, my audience on Steam. Like every platform that I use is like a different distribution. Like on Steam, it's like the top two by far are America and China. That's where most of my sales come from. But on YouTube, there's a much uh, much bigger proportion of like uh, Brazil, Russia, Vietnam, and other countries in there that don't have as much sales on Steam. So it's like different countries on every platform. You're strong, man. Go to hold a useless bridge. No, seriously, that's what it's called. Some higher up in Fochan really wanted a bridge, even though we didn't need one. Hey, you're right. There's no reason for this bridge to be here. Oh look, another useless bridge. Meow! Notices your balls. What's this? <laughs> oh, no, don't touch my balls. <laughs> no, it's a furry. Hey, that's a cool Pokemon. These Pokemon designs are really good. So, uh, yeah, like, come for the cute Pokemon and, and stay for the edgy humor. Or vice versa. Only ground is effective against electric? Oh, I didn't know that. I thought rock was as well. Wow, cats. Nice. I have no idea what type this guy is. It's not very effective. Oh, oh, oh yeah, he's probably flying. Well, yeah, I, I should have guessed flying, actually. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for the furry. Well, no, no, no one's prepared for sudden furries checking out your balls. The turn nugget bridge into furry bridge. Clover grid to level 19. Awesome. Trying to learn Screech. Okay. Yeah, I like Screech. Hmm, but what should I get rid of? I've never used Synthesis. I mean, usually I like healing moves, but... There's not really a good chance to use them if you're up against something that's killing you really fast. I feel like healing moves were better in the original game, which was a lot easier. So if you had, like, your favorite Pokémon, who was just, like, wrecking everything, healing moves were quite useful for him to have. But here, like, the enemy trainers kill you pretty fast, so it's... Not usually a good 
idea to like stall by healing yourself, right? Grass Whistle is also another move I don't use too much, but it's useful for like catching Pokemon. Hmm. Razor Leaf's not very powerful, but it's still more powerful than Speed Weed. And I feel like both kind of have a use. Ditch Grass Whistle, you say? Well, I don't like thinking for myself, so I'm just gonna listen to you and Ditch Grass Whistle. The rest of the team gains some XP points! Look, it's Mei Mei again. I've killed so many Mei Mei's. Oh, Grass Whistle is 55 accuracy. Yeah, that's not great. What inspired the battle system of EBF5? Uh, the previous games? It's, it's just like the previous games, but better. And, I mean, if you've ever played RPGs before, you, you probably know where most of the battle mechanics come from. I mean, there's not, there's not a lot in the game that's completely new. Let's see, Razor Leaf. Uh, I guess it's better than Leafage. <laughs> Screech is pretty much useless on that Mon if they didn't update the physical special split. Well, he had a uh, Razor Leaf's physical, right? But, uh, we'll see. I mean, I, I expect my party to change regularly. I'm not really attached to any Pokemon in particular so far. You're a possum! Beat the next two guys and you get a prize! That guy next to me who thinks he's a caracal really creeps me out. Conchilla. Uh, I believe this uh, this graphic's also new, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm really digging the new sprites in this game. They've done a really good job, and I guess uh, I guess a lot of the sprites in the older version were just like placeholder ours. And uh, I'm really glad like they care enough about this mod to kind of redo all the graphics that weren't weren't like uh, weren't as good as some of the other ones. So yeah, they put a lot of work into this mod, and uh, it really shows because it's it's really good. Even if you don't like the humor, I'm sure a lot of people will appreciate the Pokemon designs. <laughs> Why would a Nintendo deliver copyright strikes to my channel? And, and what are they gonna do? I mean, can they copyright strike a mod? I don't know. Plus, it's a really old game as well, so maybe that makes it less likely. Who knows? I mean, I guess I'll, I'll stream it on Twitch or something instead if I have to. I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens. Oops. Uh, yeah, that didn't go well for me, did it? I've never seen this guy before, or at least I don't remember seeing him. Well, I'm sure he's still weak against Dragon Rage, just like everyone else. 
Okay, he survived that pretty well. berries just to slow down the fight. Air cutter. Is air cutter good? It's probably better than gust, right? 6095. High crit ratio. Okay, that's much better than Gust. Cool. Yeah, Nintendo, like, uh, they, they strike, like, uh, people kind of uh, distributing, like, mods and stuff. But... Am I doing that? I don't know. I haven't even linked to the game yet, so I don't think they can accuse me of that. You know, I'm just playing a mod. I don't know if I can get in trouble for that. Well, you know, who cares? They, they can't demonetize me, at least because I'm not monetized. I've got that going for me. You want to be the best and you want to be the champ? Well then grab your nuts and be it. All right. Oh, well, look, it's Armando. Hey, he's faster than me. Charge. I don't remember. Attacks everything around the user, healing it with the damage dealt. What? So it's like a electric life draining move? So I should probably. Well, I should probably replace Thundershock. Is that what Greg from Congregate looks like? Uh, no, I... Uh, <laughs> Greg's just a normal nerd. He's a very tall person, though. He is incredibly tall. Reptike. This, uh, this guy looks pretty cool. He's a pretty cool-looking Pokémon. What am I doing? Oh yeah, I forgot I had Tentacle in my party. Uh, I should give him a try. Learning Bulldoze. What's Bulldoze? The user stomps the ground, striking everyone. Those hit lose speed. I guess it's alright. It's a ground move though. So it's uh, of limited use. 
might be better than Horn Attack. I don't know what to get rid of, honestly. I'm just gonna get rid of Horn Attack. Because Bulldoze sounds like a funny move. <laughs> Charagon. Pyro Link is, uh, hanging in there. He should be dead by now. Magnet Bomb. There's so many Pokemon moves nowadays. Like, uh, like, there, there's just so many more than there used to be. If you bet on yourself, you can do anything, even run faster than trains. I like trains. Howdy. I saw the way you whip them other trainers back there. My name's Kaimi, and I'm a pretty sharp trainer myself. How's about we have a battle? If you win, I'll invite you to my secret club. Uh-oh. Am I ready for a battle? Oh look, it's Mei Mei, because I've not fought enough of these, apparently. Oh, I had Nauseon in first position. Psh, I forgot what Acid Spray does. It lowers his defense, right? Ah, special defense. Cool. I have a feeling that I'm gonna lose the battle. Uh, well, I guess we'll see. How many Pokemon do I- uh, I've got th th two and a half Pokemon left. I don't know what, uh, what type this goat is. But I'm gonna try doing... Hmm. I don't know, I'll try my luck with Pin Missile. No, that's uh, not doing a lot of damage. Hit two times, okay. Wait, he's using Bulldoze? Ouch. You're right, maybe I am gonna lose. But who cares, I'm right next to the town. I mean, I can just come back right away. Ouch. Yeah, okay. Well. She's hard because I don't know what type her Pokemon are. Oh, it's normal. Headbutt did so much damage. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, you can do that. Oh no. <laughs> I 
<laughs> what the hell is this guy? Uh... Hmm. Hmm. Come on. Do a lot of damage. Oh boy, that wasn't enough. Come on. Come on. Hey, we did it. My club is having a meeting down in Triport City. Hope to see you there. Toodles. She seems happy. Wait, he's gonna fight me? I thought he was gonna give me a prize. I have to give him a fee to join his group? I thought he was just gonna give me some money or something. Oh yeah, it's Goldberg. Well now I'm definitely gonna lose. Okay, okay, I, I should be able to kill this guy. Oh, he's... Uh, almost. Come on. Boo. XP is my prize. Well, my prize is that I get to die. Oh yeah, I lose money whenever I lose. That kind of sucks. I don't like losing money. Alright, let's get out of here. Yeah, at least it doesn't take me back to my last save. Well, if it did, I would just, like, save after every battle, which would be pretty boring, but I could do it. Screech missed! That's lame. Sacrificing Clover here. Magnitude four, come on. Give me a stronger one. I could just use Razor Leaf. There we go. Chan Truth. Wow. Is he a poison type? He looks poisonous. No, I guess not. Oh, magnitude nine. That's a good one. What's the power on different magnitudes? Seems like uh, a pretty big difference. Oh, that was, yeah, that was really weak. Wow. Ouch. But, uh, I almost got him. Oh, he's dark type. I have no idea what dark's weak against.
I got no money? What? Now how am I going to get more shekels? He didn't even give me any money. He only took my money when I lost. Hey, I found soda pop. That's nice. I guess that's something. Dark's weak against bug, fairy, and fighting. I need to try to remember that. Wait, I had the bug, uh, bug Pokemon, so that, that would have been perfect if I remembered that. Can Kenjin uh, survive one attack so I can capture him? Okay. Yeah, it seems to be like uh, the real magnitude scale. Yeah. So, uh, Magnitude 9 really is pretty good compared to others. Let's, uh, let's use up some more Junk Balls. Soda Pop is 60 HP. Wow, that's, uh, better than a Super Potion. Kenjin uses its tasty odor to attract prey. Once the prey is near, it strikes with a powerful peck. Wow. <laughs> Sounds like a really dangerous Pokemon. Alright, which way should I go? I'm having a little snack here, how about a battle? She's having a little snack. That was a picnicker. A <laughs> bake <-up. laughs> Is she eating her Pokemon? I'm gonna take a bite out of bake -up. There we go. Wait, what happened? Why didn't Dragon Rage work? Potions are inferior to drinks in terms of healing and cost. Yeah, that's a little bit counterintuitive. It's kind of weird that they have, like, multiple healing items that basically do the same thing, but then you kind of have to remember what they all do. Oh, at some point they become not powerful enough, because Lemonade's the strongest. Okay, fair enough. Can you even buy the drinks anywhere at this point in the game? Because I remember in the original Pokemon games, you, you couldn't buy the drinks in most places. Only in that one town that had the big shopping center. Let's speed this up. Oh, I'm asleep. Yeah, okay, that went badly. So... <laughs> oh well. Let's see. So he's... Fairy Electric. So he's not a flying type, right? So, uh... Bulldoze should work, right? Hey, it's super effective, but it didn't do very much damage. Later on, I'll be able to buy fresh waters from a merchant's doctor. Cool. Stop. Picotten, stop. I'm drowsy, come on. Stop putting me to sleep, that's so lame. Like, sleep is the kind of most boring status effect of all. In fact, I really don't like how status effects in Pokémon work in general. They just slow down the battle so much. Picotin's candy is tasty and it grows back, I think. 
What about Baycub? Does his skin grow back? Hi, Kenjin. Hey, it's getting snowy. Hello, Neckbeard. Pinkie Pie is the best pony. Is he a Neckbeard? Yeah, he's a Neckbeard. Wow. <laughs> In between. What is he? Oh, I won't be able to go back there, so I better buy as much water as I can. Fair enough. Thief? I should use Thief? Oh, yeah, what, what was the thing? Oops. Oh boy. Yeah, I love status effects that make me just randomly lose my turn. Why are your comments disappearing? I don't know. I'm, I don't think anyone's moderating the chats. He's probably a flying type. Maybe a psychic type? Ponies make me horny. Wow. Hey, something wrong about liking children's cartoons? Uh, sometimes. Mount Clover ahead. I found a calcium! Cool, I guess uh, I'll save that for later. Is it even worth using those items like calcium? Like, they sell for quite a lot of money, don't they? And you can just Eve Paul. Hey, it's Chizetta. I want to capture one of those. I believe they're fire or fire fairy type. Oh, the UFO was dark type. Okay, fair enough. I'll need to remember that for last uh, for next time. Uh, my favorite game at the moment is. Uh I've been playing a lot of Age of Empires 2. I, I guess I'm also probably going to be playing a lot of this game for the next few weeks. Uh oh. I might not get another turn. Okay, that worked out alright. Look, it's Titai. It's 
It's not very effective, but it almost killed it. Rest in peace, Tentaquil. So, uh, Ice Ball's a pretty good attack, actually. If, uh, if Tentaquil gets to live long enough to use all of his Ice Ball, then that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Chizetta has a backstory. Uh, I'll have to look into that. But yeah, I've, I've been playing a ton of Age of Empires 2 lately. I'm just playing it with all my friends because we've all been quarantined and, and we've just... Uh, <laughs> we're not really good at deciding what to play in Age of Empires 2. It's just something we're all familiar with. And it was pretty cheap on Steam as well, so it's an easy game to get into, especially if you've played it before. But uh, we're we're, uh, we're not that great at it. We're kind of getting better, and it's a lot of work to kind of keep improving at it. Like uh, one of us is really good at it, and then the others are kind of like either getting better or just getting bored of studying it. Because uh, there's a lot of studying you have to do to get good at Age of Empires. Like uh, there's a lot of like really in-depth videos about like how, how to build like units and buildings faster and how to rush your enemy really early on how like different units compare against every other unit type like how you should be like what order you should be collecting your food and wood in like like there's so much to learn if you want to play it really well so it's uh it's a tough game to learn and some of us are getting fed up with it so we might have to move on and play something else soon but uh, so far it's been pretty good. We've played it for about 40 hours, maybe 45, in just like two or three weeks. Just try and beat my flawless strategy. There's people who just make a living off YouTube making Age of Empires 2 videos. Yeah, probably. There's, uh, we watch, uh, what is it? Spirit of the Law? He makes really good videos for Age of Empires 2. If you want to learn how to play the game, like, in depth, then his videos are really good. But it's probably going to take you a long time to watch them all. Uh, we also played a bit of Rocket League which is uh, a lot of fun, but uh, it totally depends on who you get matched up with. Like, uh, it's a fun game if you manage to win every once in a while, but uh, some days you just get really unlucky and you just keep losing because your opponents are too hard. Uh, we've, we've also tried uh, Paladins, but I'm not really that into it. I don't particularly like the game. Maybe it works better if you have more than one Pokemon. Let's see. Oh, can't go up there. Even playing FF6, Stardew Valley, and EBF5. FF6 is really good. It's one of the better ones, in my opinion. Though I haven't played it in a very long time. I'm, I'm sure it's not aged that well with all the random battles. Like, uh, a lot of RPG mechanics, I... I don't feel I've aged very well, or at least for me. Like uh, I was recently playing uh, Final Fantasy One, the GBA version, and the random battles are so random that sometimes you can literally not even take one step and you encounter a random battle. Like your character can stand on the same tile but just face a different direction and that's enough to trigger a random battle. But it's ridiculous, you know? It's amazing that, like, games got away with that kind of stuff before. Like, imagine <laughs> you get a random battle and then, like, you take half a step and then you have another random battle. It's crazy. I'm, uh, I'm glad that games are gradually not doing that anymore.
Hey, it's Cool Cube. Someone was telling me to capture this guy. So, uh, let's see if I can. You got the 10 million damage badge in EBF 5. Well, congrats. Uh, I think there's people, like, getting crazy high damage in that game. Because, uh, the 10 million badge is, uh, it's a little tricky, but you can do wet much higher, much more damage if you try. Have I ever played a Fire Emblem game? Nope. I don't really like strategy games very much, like turn-based ones. I just don't have the patience. I've never actually played the advanced version of uh, Final Fantasy VI. Or, I've never played it to the end. I, I would like to check out the new dungeons, though. I just, uh, the, the remade translation just kind of puts me off, because I got really attached to the original Super Nintendo translation, even though it's honestly not very good. Like, uh, that they had to keep the dialogue short so that they could fit it on a Super Nintendo cartridge. So a lot of the translations, they're not that good, and a lot of, it, it's a bit silly, but, you know, I played that version so many times that I got used to, to that, uh, to dialogue in that, and, you know, just playing a, an updated version with new dialogue just feels weird. E even if the dialogue's been corrected, and it's like, what it's supposed to be, I presume, I, 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 it's probably done better now, but it still feels weird, like having a game that you've played so many times, and suddenly the dialogue's all different. So that's the reason I never really played through the whole GBA one. I, I just couldn't get back into it when they changed all the dialogue. But uh, maybe now, after it's been so many years, I, I could get back into it and try it again. It's, I don't know, it's just going to be weird when a lot of my favorite lines have been changed. A couple of ice cubes that melted together after a storm. <laughs> They're nearly unrecognizable in a hailstorm. It's kind of funny though, because this looks like a joke Pokemon, you know, just a bunch of ice cubes, but then in Pokemon Sword and Shield, didn't they add a Pokemon that's just like a penguin with an ice cube head? You know, I think that's equally silly. Anyway, uh, I guess I should add this guy to my party if he's any good. But I've already got an ice Pokemon, so I'll have to... I'll have to figure out which one's better. Extra dungeons have rematches with the legendary dragons. Yeah, I've heard about that. My, my brother played the GBA Final Fantasy VI remake. Or not remake, it's it's really just the ports with a new translation and some extra, some extra like, super hard dungeons. path goes on for a long time. Hey! It's a kitty. Caracold. I would, uh, I would like to capture this guy. Oh, it doesn't affect him? Why, why doesn't thunder affect him? Is it ground type? I didn't even realize all of my Pokemon were dead. Uh, how am I supposed to get through this, then?
Oh, he has Volt Absorb. Alright, fair enough. Wait, should I go this way? Oh, I can't. Can I go back? No, I think I have to keep going this way now. Oh well, let's see. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna finish this area without going back to the Pokemon Center. <laughs> oh boy. Am I, am I allowed to say Tranny on YouTube? now. Yeah, I guess so. What are my opinions on uh, Final Fantasy 79? Uh, well, 9 is by far my favorite. I think it's uh, got the most likable characters. Oh, there we go, I'm dead. Time to get back to the Pokemon Center. Uh, though the, the battle system in 9 is, I think, the least interesting. Like, it feels like it's uh, it's just kind of been dumbed down compared to FF7 and 8. Like, 9 feels more like the older games. Like, like Final Fantasy 1, 2, and 3. I mean, I, I guess that's what they were trying to do, but it feels like it's just been simplified a bit too much. Oh well, I guess I'm uh, tre trekking all the way back that hill. Wait a second. Oh, there's a berry over there, but I think uh, I think I need surf. So that's not gonna happen anytime soon. But yeah, uh, Final Fantasy IX is my favorite story out of the bunch. I think out of all the Final Fantasy games, actually. But uh, I, I do wish the, the battles were a bit more interesting in that game. And also, I can't, I can't, like I said, because I hate random battles, I, I don't I don't go back and play that game very often. And if I did go... Ooh! Owl! Frost Owl, that's a cool Pokémon. If I did go back and play it, I would have to uh, play it on an emulator to speed up the random battles. Otherwise, it would uh, be a bit boring. Oh, I don't want to use this guy. Let's see. Come on, Probosquito. How long do I uh, plan to stream? Uh, probably not that much longer, maybe another half an hour. Because I've, I've already been streaming for two hours. Final Fantasy X feels pretty retro. Eh, I don't think so. X is, uh, X does a lot of new stuff. The sphere grid is pretty, pretty different from the usual leveling system, and the way they do the turn order in battle is also kind of new. So I, I feel like X does a lot of stuff differently from other Final Fantasy games. Ooh, okay, I almost killed it, but uh, I should be able to capture it now. Yeah, the Final Fantasy IX for uh, PC, I know they added some, uh, some things to make the game quicker to play. But you know, I already own the original game. I'm, I'm not gonna buy it again. Plus, if I if I emulate it, then I can probably play it on my phone as well. So that might be nice. Are you gonna get the whole game streamed? Uh, it depends. Like, if people keep watching, then I'll keep streaming. Like, if, uh, if, if each of my videos get, like, a thousand views, at least, then uh, I'll probably keep streaming that game. But, uh, if they start going under a thousand views, I'm just gonna assume people aren't very interested. 
and then I'll just move on to something else, or, or I'll just, you know, just take a break from YouTube and do something else with my time. It hunts for prey at night during the coldest hours. It has no problem flying through blizzards. Yeah, a lot of the Pokemon I've captured so far are, like, just pretty cool Pokemon. Like, they're not joke Pokemon, they're just, like, completely normal fake Pokemon. Which, uh, a lot of, I mean, a lot of these designs I like better than the actual Pokemon as well. Oh, I was going the other way. Oh, boy. Oh, it's another owl. Well, I can kill this one. No, I can't, because Clover is a grass type. Can I run? Okay, good. Oh, you can get Final Fantasy IX on Switch? That's kind of funny now, getting all the old Final Fantasy games on Nintendo consoles. After they used to all be, like, PlayStation exclusives. But I guess it's good that new people can try them out. Yeah, uh, hello, new person. This is, a uh, yeah, it's a Pokemon mod of, uh, Fire Red. It's, uh, it's completely new Pokemon. There's, like, none of the original Pokemon are included in this game. So there's a ton of new stuff. And it's also full of edgy internet humor, if you're into that kind of thing. I am, but it's a bit awkward, like, live-streaming it sometimes. Because I don't know how much trouble I'm gonna get into. Getting beaten up by wild maymays. Oh, last time I forgot to go this way. Hey, is that Nurse Joy over there? Oh, this cat got away from me last time. Maybe I can try capturing him again. Let's see, how can I weaken this guy without killing him? Will he survive a uh, Mega Drain? He's probably gonna die. Yep, oops. Oh well. I'm sure I'll find more. You want me to heal your Pokemon? Of course! Well, let's battle first. Okay, uh... Let's, uh, it's Nurse Angie. Let's, uh, let's see what she has. Oh. Disease Pokemon. I can't fight this with Clover. Pokemon Black and White 2 is one of your favorite games. I've actually never played those. Uh, I always skip a few generations of Pokemon. So I played first gen, second gen. I played third gen, but only many years after it came out. I think uh, fourth gen is uh, Diamond and Pearl, right? I played those. Then uh, the next one after that I played was X and Y. And then that was the last one I've played. So soon I'll be playing Pokemon Sword though. But yeah, I've, I've skipped quite a few generations. <laughs> oh, that nurse is Ebola-chan. Yeah, I guess so.
Ooh, flame wheel. Oh, yes. Finally a fire move. Okay, it's, uh, it's reasonably strong. Not quite as good as Dragon Breath, though. I guess burn is less useful. Let's see. Hmm, uh, maybe I'll get rid of Clear Smog. Yeah. Oh, look who it is! <laughs> wow, nice. Let's see. I should make that a thumbnail for this video. Let's see, let's hit print screen. There, that's, uh, that's a screenshot taken. What type is it though? Is it ghost Pokemon? Does that mean, uh, is ghost weak against bug? Not psychic, I think. It's funny because that Pokemon doesn't really have a head, so it can't hang itself properly. Like, if you hung a rope around your body, it wouldn't kill you. <laughs> This Pokemon would be a great creepy pasta. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. No refunds. Here you go. I may have <laughs> I may have forgot to disinfect the needle. So if your Pokemon gets Ebola, that's it. Oh, okay, so there was a nurse here all along, and I just decided to go the other way, and that's why I died. Damn. Yeah, I feel dumb. I could have saved a lot of time if I just found the nurse right away. Uh, okay, which way should I go now? It seems like there's a lot of ways to go here. There's no way you can beat my powerful bird Pokemon. Yeah, birds. So scary, man. Terrified of birds. Oh, it's Fryden. <laughs> it, it, hey, that's also a, another new sprite. Yeah, is that the final form of the Kenjin, or is that the second form? I need to change Pokemon. I'm realizing maybe Probosquito wasn't the best one to send out. Oh, Harden, okay. Second form. Okay, that was the second form of Kenjin. Okay, fair enough. If it's anything like Pidgey, I guess it evolves at like level, like, what, 35 or something? Hey, it's Birdhouse. I never managed to capture one of those. Because <laughs> they just kept killing me. About all the way back in the forest near the start of the game. I say that like it was a long time ago, but it was actually just yesterday that I was there. I think, what is it, his evolved form? That's pretty funny. <laughs> I 
I would have beaten you if we had a sky battle. Okay. Sure thing, dude. I'm too lazy to equip any berries. Oh, cool, cube. Uh, I'm not going to fight you. Alright, we're back to where we were before. really beat me up last time. Ugh. Everything's missing. Wow. You're gonna go now? Well, the stream's probably gonna end soon anyway. Who knows? Anything could happen in the next 10 minutes. Why is this weird unicorn so strong? It seems to have pretty good stats. Hey, nice. One HP left. Cheerily. Okay, let's see. Well, Clover is going to die, but. Oh, come on. I used to like Screech, but if it keeps missing, then I'm not going to keep using it anymore. What? What? Why is it healing me? What's the point of this Pokemon? What? I don't understand. Why did it heal me? I should use synthesis? Good point. Like, why do I even have a healing move if I <laughs> if I never bother healing? Well, I still won. Somehow. Oh, she's hitting on me. <laughs> we should go out sometime. No. <laughs> Okay. Wait, that's a dead end? Where am I going? Where am I supposed to go? Yeah, it just gave me HP to take it back. At least I can run away from ice cubes. It would be pretty dumb if I couldn't. Oh, I'm supposed to go up here, right? Yeah, okay. Or should I go down there first? Okay, let's see what's here. Hey, I found a great ball. Gotta check every rock, right? Everstone. Wait, that makes them not evolve, right? 
That's not what I want. I want my Pokemon to evolve. Oh, come on. I don't want Cube. Let's get out of here. Okay, it's a, it's a guy with a tinfoil hat. This is, uh, I remember this part because this is hilarious. Watch. I just love the music in this game. It's perfect. What if I told you aliens live among us? Would you believe that? This guy's probably an alien. Ever stones are used for breeding. Okay, fair enough. We'll see if I ever get around to breeding Pokemon, but maybe I will. Oh, it's an alien. What's he gonna do? Is he a psychic type? If he's psychic, he's uh, gonna be pretty weak to uh, Tentaquil and probably Mosquito, right? Oh, he's Substitute. That's lame. He's Reflect. Oh, I missed? That's lame. Why can't I hit this guy? Oh yeah, the video's gonna be blocked due to copyrights. Yeah, maybe. How? I was reading the chat, so I don't actually realize what happened. But, uh, Tentacle's dead for whatever reason. <laughs> Why am I being murdered? Yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see if like this video, like this series of Let's Plays, gets like taken down by Nintendo or by copyright strikes or whatever. Because uh, <laughs> there's a bunch of stuff here that can get me into trouble, I guess. But uh, I don't care. Well, I'll just see what happens. Oh, Metronome used a fire attack. That makes yeah, fair enough. Stop! Stop using substitute. Come on. Oh, and and he's healing. Come on, I'm just gonna speed this up because this is too slow. There we go. Aliens here? I was joking. I am out. <sighs> let's let's see what's at the top of this hill. Or should I just finish off the stream? Let's see. Oh no, this place just keeps going. Oh, that's the house there. Okay. Is that the end? It's probably a good place to stop. No Mel's cottage. Cause uh Oh, I'll just need to try to remember, like, which parts I haven't explored yet for next time. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna finish the game here, or finish the stream for now. And, uh, if you like the stream, give me a like and a uh, comment or whatever, because, uh, I'm only gonna keep streaming this game if it's popular. And if YouTube doesn't ban me for whatever reason. <laughs> so, so we'll see how it goes. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time if this stream gets enough views. So, uh, see you later.